In this Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you the difference between cut, join, and intersect. These are three of the most basic operations when you're using the combine tool in Fusion 360 with your 3D models. Here I have three identical boxes and three identical toruses. These are all each unique bodies. When we click on the combine command in Fusion 360, it asks us what will the target body be. For this, I'll select this box as the target body. Then it asks for the tool bodies. The way to think about this in Fusion 360 is the target is the cake and the tool body is the knife that's cutting the cake. So you can have tasty cake. In this case, the tool body will be this torus. And then I can have an operation of join, cut, or intersect. And then I can also make this a new component and I can keep the tools. This is especially important if you're using a cutting operation, but more on that later. So now I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. And if I look, this is now one single body because if I click this edge, I can now add a fillet to this edge that would not be uh, available had I not joined these two together. So there, I have this nice fillet and that's a great way to use the join command in Fusion 360. Now let's talk about the next one, cut. This happens all the time when you open up a new object or you extrude something and it shows up red. Well, we can do that with the combine tool as well. So I'll click combine. The target body will be the cake, this box. The tool body will be the torus. And this time I'm going to select cut. And right now I'm not keeping the tools. And if I say, okay, it cuts it, but the tool is gone. I'm going to undo that by pressing Command Z or Control Z. Let's do that one more time. I'll click Combine, then the target body, and then this time I'll select the tool body, and this time you can select Keep Tools, and I'll say OK. So now, if I hide this body, you can see it made that cut, but I still have the cut in case I need to use this to cut from something else. So make sure that when you need to, you keep the tool um, when that's necessary. And then finally, let's talk about intersect. This is probably the most unfamiliar way of combining things. So we'll go ahead and click combine and the target body will be the box. And then the tool body will be the torus. And this time we'll do intersect. Suddenly it shows you what part of the objects overlap each other. And that's all it'll keep. So this is a very powerful way to make interesting forms that happen based on where the objects intersect in space. And I'm gonna uncheck Keep Tools and press OK. So there you go, we've done Intersect, Cut, and Join in Fusion 360. So hopefully this basic combine operation helps your 3D modeling and you can quickly understand what Join, Cut, and Intersect mean in Fusion 360. Happy 3D modeling.